everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have an hp pro book 440 that's 440 g3 model and in this video i'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add or remove the ram that you have in here i made a really short video i'll leave that link in the video description so you can check your maximum ram capacity for your laptop in this laptop, we have upgraded to an, a 16 gig with no problem. I don't see any reason why you want to go over 16 gigs, so you can put two 8 gigs with no problems. And by upgrading the RAM, you're not going to do any modification or you don't need to do any other configuration in the Windows. It's just plug and play. I'm going to go on a step by step how to do this process. Just make sure that you power off the laptop. Do not put on a suspended mode or anything like that, hibernation. Just put it uh, shut down. Power it off, and then you want to flip it upside down. And now we're going to grab the only tool that we're going to be using. It's an iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to use the Phillips number one or number zero from this tool set. And down here, we're not going to disconnect the battery. We're going to just leave it the way it is. There's no need to disconnect the battery. But for those people that are paranoid, they want to remove it, pull the triggers together, and just remove it. But you don't need to disconnect the battery if you want to do a ROM upgrade, but if you're paranoid and you're flimsy, just remove it. After that, we need to remove this service cover that has been held down by one screw only. This screw has a little C lock on the other side and there's a little spring right underneath. So all you need to do is to just twist it, twist it, and you're going to see the spring coming up and the spring should push it upward. Next, what you want to do, you want to put your hand and your thumb underneath and slide it towards you. If it's not coming up, because the spring is really flatted out, so you just pull it up a little bit and then push it towards yourself. And you're gonna see this tiny gap opening. Once you see that and it's not coming anymore, just lift it up like a pamphlet. And there we have the RAM right in here. This one, it comes with a eight gig. To disconnect the RAM, it's really simple. All you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side on these triggers and then you want to pull them away from each other and the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And all you want to do is just slide it back on the same direction. And the information on the RAM it should be right on top. It's a DDR4 8 gig. You can put any brand, doesn't have to be the same brand, any brand 8 gig and or another 4 gig on the second dim. Just make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim so if i try to put it that way around it's not gonna go to so i'm just gonna rotate that way around actually bring it in 45 degree inside the dim and then push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna hear these two triggers open and close and make a click sound just like that once the triggers are straight that means the ram is in place to place another ram in there you're gonna grab another four gig right here and we're gonna bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the dim, and then we're gonna push it towards the motherboard. And there we have it. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it in an offset position, and then you wanna slide it towards the back, make sure it's sitting nice and flush. And then you just wanna tighten up the screw. And after that, if you want to double check your RAM information, you can power on the laptop and wait five to 10 seconds and keep tapping on that escape key. Enter you see a HP logo and you're gonna see a menu. So I'm just gonna tap it because it's doing a mem check right now. So I'm just gonna, as soon as I see the logo, I'm just gonna press escape, there you go. Keep pressing escape for startup menu. I right, hold that too much. And now we can go to F10 or BIOS setup. And then we can go on the system information. And there we can see the RAM that we have installed. So we had an 8 gig and we put another 4 gig. So now we have a total of 12 gig RAM. And there's the model for your laptop, HP ProBook G. 3440. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next videos.